water right there in this little bucket. Congratulations. Ooh, oh taking some drag there. They do not like this net. Another nice blue. This one was on a live bluegill. The other one was a cut bluegill head. This one was the full bluegill. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. We got him. Oh my Woo! gosh, she's feisty. <laughs> That's another nice one. This one's like just as long but not as fat yeah. as the other. Another good fish. You can see the circle hook. This is a good sign for the trout lines. Alright guys, another beautiful blue cup. Alright guys, it's 10.65 pounds. The other one was probably close to 20. Gonna go ahead and release this. Beautiful blue catfish. This is in the slot limit. They're beautiful colors. <laughs> and as lively as that guy is, I'm sure he shot off down there. <laughs> so earlier today I caught a 25 pound blue catfish and a 10 pound blue catfish and I want to show you my setup. And so I was using live bluegills and cut bluegills. I caught the 25 pounder on a live bluegill and the 10 pounder on a cut piece of bluegill. So here's how I hook my live bluegills. You'll see a little lateral line right here and you want to hook just above that or you'll kill the fish. But you want to hook significantly low the dorsal spine right here. So that way the fish can't tear the hook out. A lot of times with scissors, I'll clip this back just so the hook can't get hooked into it. But in this case, the hook's big enough that it shouldn't get hooked into this fin right here. Usually I use an eight-aught circle hook for live bluegill. If they're bigger, I'll go up to a 10-aught circle hook. But I'm using 100-pound braid. Anything over 50-pound braid is plenty. But I have a two-foot leader to a swivel. And then I have a, right here's a six-ounce six sinker. For rivers, I'm using six to 10 ounces, but in lakes, I'm usually using three to four ounces. But you can see it just slides freely, so when the fish starts to take that bluegill, it can just, it's a sliding sinker, it doesn't feel that extra resistance, and it's less likely to spit it out. Here's my catfishing setup. It's pretty basic, and it was really pretty cheap. So this was 30 bucks off Amazon. It's a big, heavy-duty reel, DFA, or DF100A. Seems to be holding up pretty good, has a good drag system, and it's been working over the years, but again, only 30 bucks. And then this pole I actually got at Walmart a few years back and the pole was about 25. So this whole setup's about $55. The braid is actually a pretty cheap brand. I got an off brand called Brave Fisherman on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks for like a thousand meters. It was ridiculous. And so there's my setup for a live bluegill. And I would like to point out that when you're fishing for blue catfish, it really doesn't matter if the bluegill are live or cut. I seem to get just as big a fish on each one. But the nice thing about using live bait is flathead catfish, usually, especially the bigger ones, only take live bait so it increases your odds there. So while it might not increase your odds in catching a big blue catfish using live rubber cut bait, it does increase your odds dramatically for flathead catfish. So now I want to show you what I do for cut bait. So this is what I caught the 25 pounder on. I actually caught it on the head of a bluegill. A lot of people think the head's junk, they throw it out. That's actually my favorite part of the bluegill. The tail right here I cut off, and this is just trash. I throw that away. I usually cut off the top fin, throw that away. I cut usually a small piece of bait, and I use a one-aught circle to catch like any small eating-sized panfish. And then these baits are for my big blue catfish. So usually one bluegill is about three big pieces and maybe one or two small pieces for the smaller pan-sized catfish. But these can catch you anywhere from two to 100-pound blue catfish out there. Flathead catfish occasionally will take cut bait, but rarely. Usually the live bait, but blue catfish doesn't matter, live or cut, they'll take it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. All right, looks like we might have something on. Hopefully a catfish. All right, looks like we got something. The, uh, the oh, wow. Yeah. That is a good fish. Okay. Oh, just let the drag go, yeah. All right, guys, we got a lunker on. I'd say he's probably about 20 pounds. Ooh, taking some drag. Oh yeah, try to keep him out of there. Put some pressure on him. Yeah, real, real, real. There you go. All right, should be about to get this guy. Ooh. Oh gosh. Man, he does not like people. Woo! That should get to the marlin right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've never stuck it. He's got that pole bent pretty nicely. That's 65 pound braid, so it's, it's 
it's really hard to break. It's just a matter of him ripping the hook out of his mouth. The second he sees that net, he's just I know, dips go. under. I got him. Ooh. Oh, this net is just scaring him off. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, that's a lunker. We're going to release this catfish. I haven't measured him, but I believe he's in the slot length limit. I'd say he's probably close to 20 to 25 pounds. Beautiful blue catfish, really fat and healthy. Let him go and get bigger. And there he goes, swimming off into the depths.